Today is day 22. I'm going to talk about leaving your seeds for four days, using harvested seeds, preventing algae growth, and an overall update on my current growth. So first, leaving your seeds, seedlings for four days. These had popped up and I needed to go on vacation. Putting these in with a little bit of water at the bottom, just covering the, the bottom part. Uh, I was able to leave them for four days without watering and they did great. Uh, and next was using harvested seeds. So these are some seeds that I'd harvested from my last grow. They popped up and did fantastic. I put them in a few days after the seeds from the packet, packet and they outgrew the ones from the packet. So I like using harvested seeds seems like a good plan so far. They're growing very well. Next is this is my setup for uh, this cardboard around the outside for preventing algae growth from the lights. And when I, I'm going to put fertilizer in today, I'm also going to add a bubbler because in the past I have had rot, root rot at the later stages anyway. And then I added some packaging here because this didn't quite fit. So it's a little bit of a hack, but it'll, it'll work. It'll work fine. Uh, so next, uh, you can see these are just seedlings. And look at there's there's roots popping out already on the bottom. I think this one, really long. That's amazing. This, I expect it could grow. And again, I, I don't want this. You can see it's nice and white. That'll turn brown if it starts to rot. Um, so I don't want that to happen. Um, so like I said, later today, I'm going to add a bubbler and then add some fertilizer. And these should be good to go for quite some time. If those roots are reaching into the water, I shouldn't have to have, I should have minimal maintenance. So I'm really excited. I think it's going to turn out great.